Hey there guys, Headphones Neil here, back with a bonus Knights of the Old Republic Terrace Underworld review. So, um, after posting the last review, I realized that the audio was cutting in and out a little bit, so I thought I would do an extra little bit of a review um, after since I progressed a little bit on the same level, so um, just an additional review with a, hopefully a little bit cleaner audio. So, uh, jumping into it, I finished a lot of the um, Underworld uh, Rock Ghouls and um, Black Volker base stuff. So now I'm back in the lower city. Um, I've collected the accelerator. I've collected the serum. So I'm going back over to see if I can, or to see which missions I've accomplished and if I can rede redeem some stuff for money and then uh, round out this particular level. Um, if it goes well, I'm thinking I'm going to try one more level of the um against the bandak star killer but i highly doubt it uh from my memory of it i always had a lot of trouble it required a lot of resources um granted you get do get a lot of the experience points out of it so um i figured that um i'll skip that this time just because the resources it takes to do it are more than the benefits that you would get from it um so I'm going to talk to this guy, get rid of the Rakul serum. Um, see if I can do a little bit. So no persuasion there. Uh, I need some information. So so I'm not sure... So let's see, Dad. Okay, so I got some points there. Let's see, and then some credits and some money. Finish the so the dual ring. I'm not gonna worry about that. The search for Bastila. So Lardo. So Davik put a price on his head, so Largo. I'm not sure where this guy Largo is, but I'm going to check the apartment, see if I can um, resolve some of that. I don't remember seeing him in the apartments yet, but you never know, he might be in... It's one of those things where I feel like um, people just show up randomly, like one of the bounties, um, like some of the bounties on this level, so it's one of those things just keep your eye out on you do have to do a little bit of going uh, back and forth in order to um, saw, to complete some of the levels so I'm going to check these apartments and then I'll check the other ones on this level I think there's some apartments on the main upper level as well that uh, might have some people so um, beyond that once that, that all this stuff is done I think that if memory serves that kind of resolves this level and from there all you need to do is uh, finish the swoop race and that allows you to save Bastila and then you can um, get off world which I mean I say it's simple but it's one of those things that might be a little bit harder than it looks so there's nothing there so I'm gonna go back up to the upper levels so actually I can probably just transit back so Let's go back to the and one of the things with playing the game enough is that you remember enough of it in the game, but then not quite enough either. So it's like, did I do, what did I do before? How did I do do it? Where are where are all the people? So actually, let's see. 
random character. And if memory serves, there is another apartment complex on this level, so since I have the map... Characters are healed up, so I don't need to worry about getting some healing. And I think the other apartments up here are straight ahead, so. Simple interaction for sm small points. So North Apartments, I'll check these out. If there's no luck here, then um, I'll probably stop for now. Um, and then move on to the rest of the level to complete it. But otherwise, I mean, th that's kind of the basis for the game. That you do have to do a little bit of running around. That's, I guess that's the idea between a multi -world, in a multi-world RPG. Um, the one thing I do, or I'm kind of indifferent about between KOTOR 1 and 2 is that in the second game you do have a slightly different um, travel system where you um, get um, some, you have to build your transit system or repair the speeder bikes in order to travel around, which is a separate thing. So the first, well, I like it in the in KOTOR 1 because it's easier to use, but I like it in the second one just because you have to do a little bit of mystery. Um, so I found this one other guy who's hiding for the bounty, so I'm gonna, so in this, so in this particular, or in the game, I'm, as you can tell, I'm going, um, pure dark side. So now that I've ki uh, killed him, that particular quest is done, so when I go to Davik, um, I can now um, take or I can now go to Davik and collect the bounty on him and also proceed with the level so um, now that that one's done um, I think the only real main other quest is a dual ring uh, Ben Dax, Star Killer and the dual ring so I mean that's one of the um, Dueling Ring, like I said, it's one of those things where I'm not, I am wasn't really that much into it. It's alright, but it was also, it did require a lot of resources to complete, so um, I want to say it's something that you don't necessarily have to, um, you don't have to complete, and once you leave Terrace and the planet explodes, you're kind of done with the planet anyway, so it's not real. I mean, it's good for, um, practicing your combat getting used to the mechanics of the game but it doesn't really affect the overall outcome so um if you are able to or if you do choose to bypass it then uh, you definitely should uh, i got my authorization papers so let's go down to davik and then or I guess I'll finish this bounty and then I'll shut the game down for the day, but um, you, overall, that's pretty much it. You get the... Terrace is a good starting point. There is enough in the level to get you used to having to travel across uh, many levels. So, once you get used to that, the, you, can, you also do... I, I want to say in the rest of the game, um, you do also need to worry about going across planets so um, actually I think I need to not go talk to him because 
because I have the accelerator. Um, I need to go back and talk to the Hudson guy and get the bounty collected and then talk to uh, what's his name about the accelerator. So luckily this particular travel is pretty close so that makes that easy but um, I just remember playing the game the first time. It was a I mean, it was good because it's an RPG Star Wars game, all this multi-world traveling, you get to, um, um, you have to practice going across worlds and all that, build a lies, you ever become a Jedi, and all of that, so, overall good stuff. So, got that, um... So, that's done, so, now that that's done, that's... I was going to move on with the um, swoop accelerator and then collect and work on getting off planet. So um, that's all there is for this review. So thanks for tuning in. And if you have any questions, comments, or want to uh, get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You, the website is PatelN01.com for the past episode subscription links and all of that good stuff and how to support the show and everything like that. So... That's all there is for this review. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.